Okay, welcome everyone to a new episode of Technique Tuesday. This week we're gonna be looking at the three pillars of proper training technique. Now in my opinion, so far in this series, there's been a lot of focus on proper technique, full range of motion and avoiding injury. And while all of that is fine, I think without being placed in the context of what really matters, I'm not sure it's gonna get you the gains that you're looking for. Now, so in this episode, we're gonna be taking a step back and having a quick look at the three pillars of proper training technique. So I would say the first rule of Technique Tuesday is that it really doesn't matter what your technique looks like if you're not using very heavy weight. You really wanna see how many plates you can fit on there. And if you run out of room, I recommend using duct tape to really maximize the barbell's true loading potential. If you're not using it to adhere extra plates, ankle weights, etc., then you're just simply not maximizing on the barbell's capacity for overload. And according to now retired American pro bodybuilder and eight time Mr. Olympian, Ronnie Coleman, ain't nothing but a peanut. So when it comes to loading, you do always want to go as heavy as possible, but this isn't necessarily implying that you always need to stick to low reps. As long as you allow your form to loosen up modestly, you should be able to use both very heavy weight and also high reps. Okay, so technique principle number two is to emphasize the concentric contraction only. Anyone who has any real experience with lifting has probably heard the phrase, lift things up and put them down. And I don't think it's any coincidence that the lift things up component of that phrase comes first. You wanna focus on simply getting the weight up and then allowing gravity to carry the weight on the way back down. And this feeds into the first principle perfectly, where you're gonna preserve essentially half your energy by just letting the weight fall on the negative, allowing you to lift more weight overall. On the bench press, for example, you can use the assistance of a spotter on every rep to literally help you lift the weight up off your chest as much as possible, which is beneficial not only from the lifter's perspective, but it'll also provide benefit to the spotter since you'll essentially be getting in some complimentary bicep work from the act of spotting. And even though actively resisting the negative will make lifting much safer, that safety is gonna come at the expense of using maximum weight. And because the term cheating tends to get a bad rap in the lifting community because of its association with infidelity, I prefer to use the term body English or body freedom, which can be extremely valuable, again, as long as it's being kept somewhat modest. Okay, pillar number three is to reduce the range of motion as much as necessary. So using the squat as an example, or actually uh, let's use the bench press here as an example, uh, you can go all the way down to your chest and use a full range of motion. Uh, however, that's simply gonna be sacrificing total weight for range of motion. Um, so for example, here you can see that if I only go about half or a quarter of the way down, I can actually use significantly more weight than if I were to take the bar through a full range of motion. And again, this can be applied to any exercise. Uh, so the same thing goes for the squat, the barbell curl, the dumbbell curl, spider curl, cable curl, really any exercise that you can think of. And every time using a full range of motion is simply gonna put a cap on the amount of total weight that you can use. Now, of course, there is much more nuance to proper training technique than just those three pillars. And one thing that I think many lifters miss out on is a proper preset hype up. I think it's honestly because most people just don't realize what the human body is actually capable of. So get in your zone while still being respectful of the other gym members. Hype yourself up as much as possible before every set and just make each and every plate on the bar, each and every pin on the machine, and every dumbbell on the rack a new reality for you since there truly are no limits to what you can lift. All right, guys, that's all that I have for this episode of Technique Tuesday. I uh, hope everybody has a, has a happy April Fools. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, uh, and I'll be back for an actual serious video next Tuesday. Uh, so no video tomorrow. I'll be back next Tuesday, and I'll see you guys all then. to a new episode of Technique Tuesday. <laughs> Less about the technique itself and more about the amount of weight that you're using. And there's a limit to how much duct tape you'll wanna use for environmental purposes. Did you get that going in the garbage? Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, I think that was it. That one was good. <laughs>
was gonna jump up and touch that, bro. I was like, that's way too fast.